so uh, uh, yesterday we end with uh, the extent thing the extent thing in uh, scss so i will start today with uh, the inheritance uh, and then uh, yesterday uh, someone asked for uh, salman i think i think as i remember the bm bm methodology so i will go with that after that i will uh, show you uh, some functions uh, on css scss <coughs> so these are all about today's session so let's start with uh, the rest of part of the so inheritance i'm sharing my screen Let me know once it's visible. Is it visible? Yeah. yeah. So yesterday we saw how to create the mixings. So we can create mixings. We can and end. We uh, we have some uh, extend uh, classes on general right. We have. Uh, where we did some extent. Um, I saw uh, extent na, yesterday, the extent thing. Yeah, here, yeah, button, yes. So, so, uh, with uh, in button we have created uh, the button thing okay and uh, on button primary i have extended the entire button piece uh, in button primary and button error so this way when i saw when i compile that sas uh, on the button end the button end that uh, classes we don't need to write that whole piece again and again that has come on a common class uh, with uh, comma separated and, and under that that button primary button error uh, classes has been created uh, for the with the set of changes uh, CSS other than that the which are common now uh, those are comes in a on in in this piece so where we uh, mention on that button so this is extend so now uh, I am creating uh, no padding it's no padding uh, i have created a dex it is a, also a kind of extent so i will tell you uh, explain you what is the difference between that dot and that uh, percent sign so no padding i have created a class here extent and uh, inside that i mentioned that padding equal to zero so now on another end where i need to include that i have created a class dot last button in some scenario i have to remove that uh, padding uh, that left padding for, for the last class for the last button element so what i need to do i will extend this no padding first of all i extend that uh, but entire button thing okay so let's extend that dot utility button okay. and now i'm um, no margin
extend this one. on last button i have uh, extended two classes uh, that button and that no margin these are also a class okay so now i am compiling again and show the difference see uh, once we, it it uh, compiled successfully that button last button button error button primary the last button has added as i extended it with the, this property so that button added here okay and on that last button class one more property added here with a different uh, classes uh, same class name in different place that is only margin left equal to zero you can't find that uh, this this class anywhere on the css okay so to minimize the uh, file size or minimum line of code in your uh, ultimate finish uh, CSS, you can use this kind of extent as well. So whatever you write on this uh, class, that will never included on your CSS file. Mm. But that property you in added on inside that, that will work as it is. When it, wherever you added that uh, extent, wherever you use that extent, okay. So, so there is two kind of extent I show you. So these two kind of extent you can uh, use. One is uh, this the direct class you can extend on another class. Mm. In that case, that class will added, added, and but uh, if you started with the uh, percent sign and create that extend. In your classes that class will never render on your ultimate finish css file okay so this is a kind of extent two you can use on your sas so next uh, any question any question from anyone uh, no Britain. okay Pritam, hello. Yeah. Uh, difference between dot and question uh, percent. Yeah, the difference between dot and percent. So where whenever you use that dot class, okay, that will render on the CSS. As as uh, I see that dot button is rendered on that here dot button. Okay. Okay. But uh, that no margin. Okay, it is a simple extent no margin this you can't find that no margin class in anywhere on that css so if i find that no is nowhere in the css yes no yeah. dot css yeah so that that will never rendered so that class will never rendered okay but that property you can use multiple times whatever you write inside that uh, uh, extend na, that class that will uh, you can use you can extend that class everywhere but that class will ne never render so you can use you can uh, create a set of uh, you can create a set of uh, this kind of uh, classes uh, which you will use too many times on your uh, on your sas but you don't want to render that on css that in that scenario you can use this kind of extend Okay. okay so uh next uh um uh, i will show you today the bem methodology uh, bem methodology actually uh, that bem methodology is nothing but a naming convention of uh, for the sas okay so what is a bem a b stands for block and uh e stands for element and m stands for modifier so it is a naming convention how you write the sas properly in uh, in good structure 
so whenever you need to find anything on your sas file you can uh, you can go there and search very quickly mm. uh, so if you uh, write that uh, uh, css uh, with bin structure it will be very helpful to find anything uh, in very quickly on your sas so what is why uh, should we consider bin so if you want to make new style of a component we can easily see which modifiers and children already exist there so we can use them mm. and we can uh, extend them and we can use with the different different identifier uh, with the uh, same uh, for the same comp component and the with same block mm -hmm. when we are uh, reading the markup uh, instead of css so in, uh, instead of css when you read that uh, sas file raw sas file it is very we can uh, get quickly uh, the the block of uh, sas very quickly uh, we can find them in our sas file okay so that that's why we are using uh, we are suggesting that write always in the use the bame methodology on your, your css a sas file sas creation hmm. and it will help to create the consistency between the uh, in the application so if you use the uh, bem methodology uh, the consistency will be uh, uh, consistency will stay on that uh, application. Okay, it will never uh, break that consistency. So how BEM works actually? So how the BEM works? So BEM spin block. Remind that block element then modifier. So I am giving you an example. Mm -hmm. I'm creating a simple form. So I have created a wrapper thing. Inside that wrapper, I have added a form. Uh, inside that form, I have added input and two button, as you see. Let's see. So now, as it is the block name of the block is wrapper, right? You can have uh, the contact form or anything else or article or aside. So whatever it, the the name of the block, I will uh, on depending on that, I will write my CSS. So that assume that it is my block the whole thing the wrapper is my block and inside that a form is an element input is an element button is an element right so now how how beam uh, will work on this okay so wrapper so the class name class name on wrapper 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 input wrapper button. Okay. 
so as it as the name of the block is wrapper okay i am using that wrapper thing everywhere so this is my element okay a, uh, yeah element of that wrapper inside that wrapper so that i name wrapper underscore underscore form so in bam methodology the wrapper uh, that uh, element will start with uh, double underscore the element will start with double underscore and the identifier will start with double dash button wrapper button sorry i not identify modifier bm modifier that uh, see i have applied the ba method here so this is a block it is a uh, element it is also an element that's why uh, in, uh, input is inside that form but it is not um, with hyphen hyphen because it is an individual element it is also an individual element with some modifier with some modifier okay so i will show you two things two uh, method how to write the sets properly so here uh, is the now let's write that uh, create a form sas which will come on inside the component the form sas okay remember uh, one thing so i have uh, i have mentioned that variables and mixing inside the root file okay i have imported these two files here and using the uh, all the variables and mixing everywhere but i am i i just import this here only because i have the all the files which i am uh, rendering as ultimate css file those are all linked to it here if i put this variable and mixing below that so what will happen so it will it will give some warning and error okay so this is not the right way to call the files always uh, always keep that variables and mixing which are commons uh, which are we are using uh, on our application on our other files other files so those keep those first okay and whenever you use those mixing and variables keep them uh, on the next to the variables and mixings okay so i am right currently writing uh, the my uh, scss on the inside that component so on component i i do not did not uh, import that variables and mixing everywhere i just add them on the our main css file and use them so on button um okay so on the form i was on the form so it is now need to convert them as a partial which will not rendered form and i have to import that here just the form without the extension without the let's stop that form so now it use the so i am uh, keeping all the uh, entire block of uh, css here i so dot uh, wrapper right so i am uh, putting wrapper adding tpx include So 
about uh, so in px in px So this is my wrapper thing. Inside wrapper, how to I write? I will in. So here is the wrapper and ampersand and and double underscore form. So it will. Uh, it when it uh, rendered the uh, com when we compile that uh, CSS file, it will create wrapper form. Just right, we 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 use here so wrapper form. We break this uh, entire class uh, when it says we are nesting. So we keep it this way with uh, underscore where we can join that class uh, with the parent when you compile. While compiling, so form mm, just add the add a border. Zero. Instead of zero 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 or this color, you can use variable two. Now, what is our next the input right so let's input again ampersand it is an element input input and with input and uh, now create button so inside that okay inside uh, wrapper button i can simply extend extend that dot button okay so to do that i have to keep that button on a generic place in mixing or any variables otherwise we can't use them okay So I'm extending that button and add that modifier. What was the modifier? That submit or primary or default. You can use that as well. That primary submit. Uh, okay. Let's the color with the, whatever we have in primary use that so this is the whole uh, dame thing so this is one kind of uh, i write those in uh, a particular uh, with help of dame methodology so block elements 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 then the the modifier so you can use i am it just use the submit uh, you can use uh, that uh, as a large 
small, medium, those are modifier. So whatever modifier you can use, you can write that with the double hyphen. So combine, watch and check that wrapper, that wrapper form, that wrapper input, that wrapper what submit. So instead of that, you can use just like that hyphen dot hyphen it's him on side so let's use the mixing include font size one two not pixel because i am using the same see uh, now button sm is also created so you can use that like just like this html you want to this is one more modifier i am added so you can add one more modifier to it like this after uh, double dash you can add single dash and add sm or you can create a uh, one more class to make it more uh, flexible hmm. and you can use them so here i have adding that uh, submit with that uh, button the wrapper button here i have individually created a sm button only for that block it is only it is only for available for that block because it is inside that block if it if i if i uh, if i place it uh, globally on anywhere so i can use that in every places so i am now mentioning that implementing that inside a particular block so that's why i can use that inside only that block So I hope uh, now the BEA methodology is uh, clear to everyone. Is there any question regarding BEM? No. So, OK. Component was there, uh, general settings functions. Okay. So, now, the next part uh, interesting thing the functions. Okay. So, just like, uh, just like uh, that uh, JavaScript language we can create few uh, few uh, logical expression in uh, css2 so today i will show you uh, three of them that if else and that uh, for logic in uh, css we can uh, implement that uh, kind of logic in css2 so start with if if else so here uh, first uh, i have added a if statement so just ignore this part So it is a if statement. So what I done here? So I have added a uh, after. Uh, it is a mixing, as you know, it is a function mixing uh, kind of function. So inside that I have passes two parameter. One is size, and one is the circle. And the default value of the circle is false. I kept that uh, value, uh, pass that value in the parameter. Mm and um, i have passes to uh, uh to more parameter uh, i have passes in which i have added that size passes that parameter on the uh, width and height okay 
now i uh, here I, uh, we have added that uh, if the circle okay if the circle inside that i have what i logic i have done added border radius size divided by 2 that means so if that border radius is divided by 2 that's whatever value of border radius radius that divided by 2 that will be uh, 25 percent right that so if add we add that logic so always that uh, the d or the buttons or the uh, element with wh whatever the element we use uh, this uh, logic okay that have a uh, rounded corner that uh, that appears with a rounded corner okay so if the circles the border radius size divided by 2 okay then that that the whole mixing i will apply here like include after so this uh, this is the function okay inside that function I, what i pass that size i have passed okay so I, what i did the circle equal is equal to false that means now this will this logic is false for uh, this class okay so include avatar size circle uh, uh, so the size is 100 so what would be the ultimate compiled css the width will be 100 and the height will be 100 and but the border radius is not applicable because that i have created uh, the, that i have added the false value in the circle so the this this uh, statement will be is false here okay so the output of this function is the it, avatar size will be 100 percent and height will be uh, width will be 100 percent height will be 100 percent wherever uh but uh, here on the another uh another classes the include avatar the same thing i just uh, uh make that circle true so now that whole oh, if statement pass okay the size 100 percent and the height 100 percent and width of the uh this div will be 100 percent of element is 100 percent and also that the circle statement if uh, is a circle statement passing uh properly so the border radius will be 100 divided by 2 that means 50 percent right so uh, the border radius will be also added on this class okay so let's uh check it's worked or not so as it is not added uh, functions mixing settings okay settings mixing variables okay i have to let's move that to the just move that to the uh, sas so in general we have mixings you can keep that inside the mixing or you can uh, add that separately i just create a uh, separate file for the functions so It functions is inside the settings. Settings functions. functions. Now let's check here. So see uh, the square AV, the square avatar file uh, is rendered. 
it is weighted 100% and heighted 100%. And the next one, that width 100%, height 100%, and border radius equals to 50 px. Okay. So as the function pass. So you can keep this uh, function uh, on the function file. And you can use it, uh, keep that outside of the file and add, 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 add on adding it in general. So for better understanding, I keep that on a, a single file. So it will help. So I have keep, I have uh, create that function here and use that function here. Okay. So one more time. So what I did, I have mentioned the size circle. Uh, the default is false. If I make that default true, again it, it will always that apply that uh, uh, circle by default. So height and width. I just I just mentioned here the uh, size of the circle and the um, and whatever is false or true circle is false or true so it will create either with a rounded corners uh, avatar or a without rounded corner avatar so both we can do with the this uh, if statement so now let's go to the else statement okay so here we use the if and else both statement so i have a uh, few i have declared few uh, variable here for understanding okay so now uh, start with the else statement mixing uh, it's a function same thing the light theme true i have uh, mentioned it a uh, true by default if the light theme so if that uh, the light theme is here yeah, the background color will be light background and the color will be light else the background color will be dark background and color darkest so in the same way if i pass the uh, light theme color and true here okay so they include the light theme so light theme is here okay the background color of the light theme is light background it is if the light theme is true, then this will affect. Otherwise, this will work. So if true, it will work. Otherwise, the false, it will work. Okay. So in the st if statement, uh, I have applied two more style, two styles, and the L statement, I have another two. So now make it true or false, it will work as it is. So if I add that banner class, on my HTML, let's add a div class banner. Let's add some two hundred picks. So now if I rendered that, so dot banner. border size i think color and height is mentioned and as well as the uh, background color is added on the 
as this one. Okay. See the banner class. The classes has been created. So you can use that uh, the, this kind of if and else statement for the um, for the functions as well. Okay. Mm, other than that, uh, we have one more uh, thing uh, to the, I'll show you. That is uh, kind of for loop. You can use that kind of function on CSS. Okay. So for uh, for that, I have used that uh, base color. Uh, is a variable you can you can use uh, you can use that uh, variable too when you uh, add that function properly on a different file so to write that uh, for loop so for dollar i as we write on the uh, on the angular and yeah, that uh, react the dollar i from one through three so here i one uh, i mentioned that range one from one through three so what will change the inside that that you will dot in it child three then the three n then the number of the uh number of that uh, i okay so background color will be changed light in base color dollar one into five percent that means so background color will be light in in uh, every third child, okay, by five percent. So, on every three and uh, plus number of child, okay, the background color of will be lightened. So this is this is a color function. Okay, we can we can lighten or darken. We can use the darken and lighten uh, this way. So we uh, we can change that by percentage. So the variable comma the number of percent you can use so so the finished thing will be it is a warning mm -hmm. the deprecating value both are the operators are deprecating so app dot css so what was that uh... Mm -hmm. so so i have uh here i have selected the evil now i have to create that evil here The banner is working now inside that banner. <laughs> okay. See the CSS dot evil dot in it child three n plus one equal to color equal to this okay and uh you with colon n h child 3n plus 2 3n plus 2 means the third number plus 2 that means fifth and that 3n plus 3 that means 6 see the color colors are changing here the color value and the the both are shades of uh, all these three are shades of blue but it's a changing with the five percent opacity every time Okay. So, so I have changed that property, uh, opposite lighten that. So if I change it to darken, you 
in that way uh, see that uh, colors it it is uh, now it's uh, more is the the colors are darken from uh, 3 3n three plus 1 is uh, more lighter than this one and this is more lighter than the this one so i just change that light darken lighten to darken so it is now darken in our order so 3n plus 1 4 5 6 so 4 5 6 the background color instead of that if i write uh function eli now you can see the changes okay so So now every row has a different different color. So one two three one two three one two three. Okay. So you can use uh, that kind of uh, for loop for the uh, grid. Uh, if we have uh, time permits, I will show you how to create the grids with help of uh, for loop uh, with uh, for function on on SCSS. So these are few examples of functions. You can create your own function with help of uh, this if, else, and the for thing. You can use them in your applications. Okay. So uh, I'm expecting few uh, on uh, next day, uh, on Monday, uh, which, our, uh, which will be our last session. On that day, please come up with some real life uh, problem which you face uh, on your application related to CSS and SAS. Whenever uh, you are trying to apply changes, any CSS or SAS thing on your application to face any problem uh, throughout your career, I know. So come up with those some of those uh, problems. I will, uh, and we will try to solve them uh, in our last session, OK? Tomorrow, I will uh, give you uh, some more uh, idea on uh, SAS thing. We have few more things like uh, module thing and other few things. So today we'll understand uh, we will understand that few flow things in SAS. Uh, that's our uh, evil statement for loop. Uh, we have while as well. Uh, we'll have each functions um, we can use on the uh, SAS. So I will show you that uh, tomorrow for sure. Okay, and. Yes, uh, that's all for today. Any anyone have have any question from uh, today's thing? Any question for functions? Efils. You you can uh, you can relate the efils and that for things uh, very well. So you are uh, using in your applications every day. So use them uh, on SCSS uh, from the next time. Whenever you are working, we'll work on the SCSS. If you have no question, we can conclude the call for today. No, no questions on my side. Uh, OK, then thanks to everyone. So tomorrow the session will be from uh, two to three, okay. So you all have you got the invitation here in the same. I hope. So let's conclude the call then. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.